Welcome friends and family to Nanava's Kitchen. We are making suya mix, a West African spice rub that you can throw on anything. Fish, chicken, beef, goat, lamb, even fruits and vegetables, you name it. And we are about to learn how to make it. Now the base for making suya mix is Kuli Kuli. And the Kuli Kuli video has already been uploaded and the link to the video is in the description box below. So be sure to check that out because you need to learn how to make Kuli Kuli in order to make suya. Now suya, the spices that we add to the Kuli Kuli, which is the base, work together. And whoever put this spice mix together is genius, <laughs> totally genius. So let's get started. All right, friends, so let's begin making some suya. The main ingredient here is kuli kuli, and that's what you're looking at right now. Like I said, the video is in the description box, so be sure to click on that link. The next ingredient is our dried red chilies. I left the seeds in because I do not mind the heat. You might take yours out if you do mind the heat. Then the next ingredient is our dried ginger powder. All right, so that's also going to go in, and then we have some salt to season and the amount is per your preference i'm only using one tablespoon full off and then we also have a bouillon unfortunately i did not have vegetable bouillon which is what i, pre I would have preferred to use so that you know it is more versatile a vegetarian or a vegan can use it and then we also have a pinch of anise seed to bring that licorishness i like a little licorishness in my suya and then we also have um, grains of Salim um, that's known as grains of Salim universally but to the Ghanaian people it is known as Quintia. The next thing we're going to do is break up our Kuli Kuli into smaller pieces to help my blender out and what I do is I put them in my Ziploc bag I cover it with my kitchen towel and then I use a blunt object such as my rolling pin here to give it a few wax until it's broken down into smaller pieces and now I'm going to blend my chilies my huentia now the huentia has been roasted for just 30 seconds okay just to release the oils it brings the flavors out more when you do that so that's happened and i also added my anise seed and now i'm blending until powder form is achieved just as you can see here the next thing we're going to do is add our bouillon our salt and our dry ginger powder so that's all going to go in and then we're also going to add our pieces of Kuli Kuli, okay, so that's going in at this point Now I did this in two badges. Okay, so the Kuli Kuli that went in was not all the Kuli Kuli So just make sure that you look at the description box for the step-by-step -step process Including the measurements of all the ingredients and now we're blending it together So see how easy it is to make suya once you have the difficult part taken care of which is the Kuli Kuli preparation there's no even cooking here, okay? It's just a mixture of uh, different spices that work perfectly together. And let me tell you, the smell here is absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you try this recipe, guys, and let me know how it goes. Now, I'm passing it through my kitchen colander because the mesh is not so fine as my actual strainer is. So now, there we go. We have our suya mix. You can store this in an airtight jar and keep it in your freezer and it will stay powdery form until you're ready to use it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.